Hey guys, welcome to DIY Plus. So today I'm gonna show you step by step how I make this flowery tray. So let me tell you, these trays are from Dollar Tree. Can you believe that? It turned out so good. So let's start. So for this, I got this two tray from online. Actually, I bought this from online and I also get other stuff too. So um, my Dollar Tree doesn't have that many of uh, good stuff so that that's why I have to buy some of the stuff from online and that's easier, right? And you can use any brush on any acrylic paint you have available. You can also use a Dollar Tree acrylic paint if you want to. And I really like bright colors so that's why I'm using bright colors today. So on uh, this first tray I'm gonna be using like a lighter blue color. So um, all I'm gonna do is just cover my whole tray using that color. And I'm also adding a, this a little bit of white. So in this bottle I feel this white only because I use a whole lots of white and it's easy to use it from that bottle. So that's why um, I buy my white paint in a uh, in like a half gallon so mostly i buy it uh, from amazon and uh, if i get a good deal i also buy it from michael's and hobby lobby okay so here i started painting outside of the tray first so that it's easy to paint uh, inside later otherwise um, if i paint the inside further first then um, i can hold the tray and i have to wait until it's dry and then do the back so i thought let me do the outside first and then I'll do the inside so just in case if you are new here make sure you subscribe to my channel and if you like this video make sure you give a big thumbs up okay and um, in case if you are new and you don't know I have a tea shop so whatever I make here in case if you feel like you don't want to make it but you want to have it you can check out my Etsy shop I'm going to put the link down below in the description. And in case if you have any question about the materials I use or anything, just uh, put that uh, comment down below and I will get back to you. Alright, so here I'm done with my first tray. So for the second one, I'm going to be using like a kind of a darker orangey color but not too dark. So that's why I'm also going to be using a little bit of pink so here i tried to add a little bit of pink i thought that will be not uh that will be slightly a little bit lighter but no it wasn't good enough so that's why i have to also add some white here so that it's slightly a little bit more uh lighter like not too dark so so i know you've been seeing these kind of flowers a lot uh recently just because i really enjoy making these kind of flowers it's super easy and it's super fun to do it and um at first you might feel like it's a slight little bit uh, trickier but the more you do you're gonna get so much better at it trust me i started making this kind of i, I was inspired by uh the one pin from pinterest actually so um that's that's where i started making uh this kind of a flowers and trust me it looks so trickier when i do it but uh like i said the more you do it's gonna you're gonna get so much better all right so now back to this project as you can see i covered the back side of this orange tray and i forgot about the blue tray to cover the back side but i'll do that later okay so for the flowers i'm gonna be using red white and green that's all uh, i'm gonna be using for this flower but you are uh, you can definitely use a different color if you want to okay so i'm gonna start with the center of the flower so i'm just adding a little bit of a small circle with the red and then adding this kind of a petal and i'm just gonna keep adding more inside then so it is basically like a half c shape uh when i say that i'm adding a petal shape it's uh, just like a half c or maybe a small c shape okay so um yeah you can see i'm sorry i don't know how to even uh, explain some of the thing but um i then add more red in the center of the flower and try to mix those colors and just to uh, speed up the process 
I started adding just the outside of the outline of the flower something like this everywhere so that I know where my flower is gonna be and I really want this tray to look good because I'm gonna be selling this on my craft show so okay so here I add then a red dot in the center of all of the flower and covering all the extra area with some white in the middle of all flowers and then I'm gonna go back again with more red and until I'm satisfied and until I feel like it is look like a flower so something like this So in case if you are also interested doing something like this with a similar kind of flower and everything make sure you let your flowers dry before you move on to your leaves otherwise it might be a little bit trickier if you are new to painting so i recommend you just let your flowers dry and then move on to the next part which is adding some leaves okay so here i didn't let it dry but it wasn't that trickier for me because i I'm very used to painting and I know that I'm not gonna mix those two colors together okay so and then I move on to my next tray and for this tray I'm just gonna speed up the process so that you don't have to watch me paint the whole thing okay so um, yeah I repeat the same thing I started with the wet red dot first and then as you can see I'm just <laughs> um, I'm not using just a plain white here it's kind of a little bit pinkish but uh, this is just a background color So um, I still can see some of the background color so that's why I also add like a tiny little dots just to also add uh, and cover those area. So it, isn't it looking already so pretty but uh, now I should have done this, um, this thing, the sanding thing before I painted this but it's okay uh, I realized that this Dollar Tree tree are not perfect. Um, it's very sharp and uh, the wood is like I don't know what it's called but uh, so that's why I have to use this sander and just kind of a sand it a little bit and that didn't remove my paint so that that was good I didn't have to do any uh, second layer there of paint so I just kind of sand every uh, corners of uh, my tray for both trays okay and then uh, I also add little golden color on the edges so i got this one i believe from michael or maybe hobby lobby i'm not sure it's been very long but um i also need to show you one more thing is this thing right here uh i'm working on similar kind of flower but i'm trying to make magnets out of uh, a wood so if let me know if you are interested uh to see how i make that okay so for this i'm using a very small flat brush you can use to be honest any brush uh, you have available 
and I'm just adding uh, this golden color like that just kind of a damping uh, on each area wherever I'm working that I'm not like swiping I don't know I'm sorry guys I'm a very bad at explaining but I, I hope you can see that what I'm doing here so what do you think it is uh, this trays are better with the gold border or without the gold border um to be honest i like the gold one but i also like without the gold too so i don't know which one do you prefer if you want to use this kind of a tray i don't know and i also applied this gold on the inside of that handle area the the circle area that's there where we hold the tray so i also covered that area with the gold and i also repeat the same thing with my blue one and here i'm all done i let it dry for an hour and then i go outside to cover with this matte finish spray in case if you don't have this you can and if you have a poly acrylic you can also use that this is gonna protect my paints um, and then I know I'm gonna add epoxy inside of that I mean on top of that flower area but I really want to also make sure that outside is also safe and I know that I realize that I'm not wearing gloves when I'm making this video uh, but when I'm adding I realize that oh no I didn't wear my gloves for this one and that's bad wear gloves guys Okay, so now here I mix two part of epoxy and I'm also adding this Dollar Tree Rose Gold Glitter. I love this color. So that's why I, I recently I'm using this glitter a lot. So um, I mix part A and part B of the epoxy and make sure you mix it very well for at least like 5 to 10 minutes. And then um, pour this wherever you want to. So on this project i'm pouring it on my tray and something like this i really want a thin layer i really don't want like too thick layer here so i'm just adding a little bit and then i'm using my wooden stick to kind of a spreading everywhere like that so that it covers the whole thing so let me know in case if you are interested uh more about knowing uh the epoxy i can also create another video for that for just for a just for epoxy how to use it how to mix it and stuff like that okay so here i am all done with my both of the tray and i'm also using this uh, lighter just to blow up that extra bubbles and i let it dry for 24 hours at least and then um i am almost done all right so here how it turned out i love how it turned out i don't know about you guys but i really love this so um let me know how you want to use this kind of a trick maybe at jewelry or i don't know maybe on table or add a pot on it i don't know but um let me know in the comment if you like this or not and make sure you give a thumbs up if you enjoy watching this video and i will see you next time for another diy or maybe a step-by-step -step painting all right thank you so much guys for supporting and watching i'll see you next time bye